this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you how I became... Hey guys, so it's Jackie here, aka Banded Cutie, and I got a lovely video from Tom, Philly Tomcat, and, um, you know, I had some eye-opening, awakening, um, epiphany moments through that video, and, you know, he, it, it was a private video, so I'm not gonna go into the details of it, but, um, we were talking, and it, I realized that there are things that, um, I did as part of my self-care, you know, I was going through a tough time, and I was going through, um, you know, a couple of traumas, um, in the last three, seven months, um, since being unbanded. So, um, I just want to give a quick hash up and rewind for all of those who don't know my story and don't know what's going on with me. So, um, I started my weight loss surgery journey on March 29th, 2010. I weighed in at 230, well, 223 to pounds the day of surgery. I was 230 pounds um, before surgery. Month after being banded, I got my first fill of five cc's and October slash the beginning of November was when I started um, feeling that I was too tight. Um, I had a lot of pee being episodes, a lot of um, gastrointestinal episodes, um, GERD. I had a lot of acid reflux. It was pretty bad and I was at eight cc's at the time. So um, my surgeon unfilled me um to about back to five cc's which was where I was a month um after surgery sorry um and there I went I was I was like 180 and then um every month since I started getting filled again so um in January of 2011 I was at I want to say like 5.25 cc's and my band slipped for the first time. It was a minor slippage. All he had to do was take out um, the cc's and I was at zero cc's in January. Um, so fast forward to February slash March, started getting some cc's and again, I was fine. Um, came my vacation to Puerto Rico and you know when you have those moments when you're like something bad's gonna happen I knew right off the start that something bad was gonna happen I was telling my mom I was like I'm really scared to go to Puerto Rico I've never traveled with my band before I don't know how it's gonna go on the airplane I don't know you know what's gonna happen I'm afraid about the food in Puerto Rico because everything's fried and I don't eat seafood whatsoever so you know so I was really worried about my food choices and, you know, what I would be eating. Um, we got to Puerto Rico, and um, my band was really, really tight. And at the time, I was, I think back, I was only three cc's or three to five cc's. I can't remember exactly, but, um, you know, I was on the low end, but it felt so tight coming off the plane. Um, I PB'd the first night there, and all I had was um, a chicken breast to eat. Excuse me, so I PB'd first night there and I figured okay this is not gonna go well I went to the supermarket um the next night and I got a ton of yogurt um protein shakes and ensure shakes because I wanted to make sure I kept my vitamins up while I was in Puerto Rico um you know a couple of days after that I was fine pee being every once in a while um you know and then one week in actually five days to six days in I had excruciating pain. I couldn't swallow anything. I couldn't keep food down. Um, even water was stuck. It was pretty bad. I went to the hospital in Puerto Rico, um, which was one of the private hospitals, one of the worst experiences I ever had. Um, I still have scar from where the doctor tried to do an unfill, even though he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Um, you know, I... And I am pretty traumatized with that. I told my mom, you know, I don't want to go back to Puerto Rico. It's such It was such a bad experience. Um, but, you know, I had dropped weight. I was 163 to 165 when I left. And, um, and I was only there a week. And I was 155 when I got back home. Um, we were supposed to be there for two weeks. We were there for one week because the pain was so excruciating. And um, I almost passed out um, because I was so dehydrated. 
and um, I was in so much pain. We came home, um, went to my local hospital here in New Jersey, and um, you know they didn't know what was wrong with me. My surgeon flew all the way down here, not literally flew in the plane, like he was in Staten Island and he drove all the way down to New Jersey to come to the hospital. Um, he did a complete unfill, but I was so doped up on pain meds, I thought that everything was fine. Come the next day, um, not tolerating liquids very well and still having very bad acid reflux. Um, that was on a Monday. On a Tuesday, um, I was back in the hospital, but I was at my surgeon's hospital where he practices from. Which is, and um, you know, he said everything was gonna be fine. We were gonna try to do a CAT scan or MIR. I'm not sure which one. Um, I had to drink some nasty fluid. I couldn't keep it down. They kept shooting me up with pain meds to try to keep it down. Um, I could not. I still, every time I drank something, I felt like it was in my chest. Um, it was the barium liquid or something like that. Um, from that, he, um, stated that everything looked fine, but he was still going to put me on, under to do the endoscopy, um, to check how everything was going down there. Um, what was supposed to be a 45 minute procedure ended up being a three hour procedure. I was, under for three hours, he said that um, in his first examination, it looked like the band had slipped, um, that there was pus in my stomach um, from, we are still, we still don't know where, um, and my appendix was inflamed and the cyst had exploded in my ovary. So I was a mess. Um, I woke up out of surgery, my ear was weighing 155, and, uh, I was, I was a mess. I could have died. And, um, you know, he said that's exactly what would have happened because we didn't know where the pus was coming from. Um, I had a fever. I didn't even know it. Um, all the pain that I was experiencing was, uh, the appendix and the cyst and the band getting, um, inflamed. So that's why my stomach reacted to the way it did because my body was a mess. Um, so... He removed my band um, July 11th, um, July 14th. I was home, and um, the rest is history. So I haven't been banded for seven months, and it's been a tough journey. I was beating myself up because I felt like I gained weight um, in four months, but that's not true. It's been seven months, and I gained 20 pounds. And, you know, talking, well, not talking to Tom, listening to Tom talk to me, which I, I love you so much. You don't understand how much you mean to me. Um, you know, he did say I disappeared, and it's true, I disappeared because I was more afraid, and I was upset that I gained the weight. And I'm not really ashamed of myself. I just, I don't have answers yet. I don't know where this infection came from. I don't know why the band didn't work for me. And, you know, come to think about it, I'm not the only one who has had complications with the lap band. Um, you know, I do feel like I'm not that one in a million that had this random surgery and all this shit was going on. That probably is true, but I'm not the only one who has had complications. So, um, you know, in the last seven months, I was contemplating do I want to get the band? Do I not? Um, if you hear my last video, I did say that I was researching BSG. And the more I research it, the more I think that's the surgery for me. Um, but if you guys are willing to stick around and, you know, um, still consider me part of your community, because I know all of you do, and I am so grateful for that, I will document everything that's going on. You know why? Because Tom said it right. I need to tell my story so other people, when they do come to make this decision, they know which one to do. Now, you do have the lap band heroes, you know. Um, Sky Moon, Melanie, I love you so much. She's one of my heroes. Um, Banded Wendy, another one of my heroes. Losing it with, with with Rebecca, another one of my heroes. Sin Through Thick and Thin, another one of my heroes. And each and every one of us, in one way or another, have struggled throughout this journey. And um, I'm not saying that the band isn't for everyone, because clearly, for some people, it is. But then, for some people, you'll have those minor complications, or major complications, in my case. Um, you know, I'm not sure what's going on with Rebecca right now, but um, if you check her out, I know that she had a complete unfill, and she has one CC's in right now in her Allegrin band. Um, another thing to make note of is that I had a realized band. <laughs> um, I know... A year after getting my realized band, there was a couple of recalls, um, which didn't affect me because I, you know, it really didn't affect me. But, um, okay, I'm cutting this video short. It is really late at night. I just got home from work, hence my, uh, braided hair slash bangs slash business shirt. And, um, I love you guys. And, um... Stay tuned, because I am not going anywhere, and I have dedicated to myself to do the best that I can for myself, and that's all I can ask for. So, peace, love, and chicken grease. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.